show that this that should be all right sharp sharp them a little bit head it through here like that then the the next one I'll put another stick. Right, this is my finished wheel. I've, uh, I've tightened it a little bit with some string and some, uh, some kind of loose areas. I don't want to take any chances. It's a uh, nylon thread and it will burn, but if you smear it uh, like in uh, mud, if you smear it in uh, clay, not in mud, smear it in clay, it, it will hold up a lot better. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll dry out uh, the, the the thing now to see how it behaves. I'll put it straight on, on the on the ambers a little bit. Hopefully, it will be strong enough to hold three fish. So here's the whole contraption resting on the on some rocks. Just like that. In the meantime, I'll, uh, I'll prep my, my vegetables. I'll start with the courgette ribbons. I don't have a chopping board, but I'll be fine with, with the knife. Never do this at home. Again, I'll say that it might end up cutting itself. It's the best the best way and the proper way to do it is on a chopping board or with a, with a slicer with a mandolin because no matter how good you are you will end up cutting it like that in your hand you cannot well maybe some can do it some, some of us can do it but it's not something that I would necessarily recommend There they are. Hopefully they'll get some uh, ch some char lines. Now that the fire is strong, and then the fish doesn't uh, doesn't need a strong uh, strong fire. Right, I didn't manage to put no goddamn lines on them, but I got them cooked a little bit, and um, also they are a little bit drier, so I'll take them out now. I don't want to waste a lot of time with that and uh, then have no fire for cooking the, the actual fish because of the because of the exploding rocks the wood got a little bit dirty so I'll wipe it 
it in with a little bit of lemon. Now I'll put my fish on. We'll leave it there until it's cooked. Uh, judging by the fire, it will take like 20-25 minutes, maybe half an hour, to cook it properly. And uh, we'll see how the the thing will behave. Looks quite all right. I think it's going to be more than uh, more than all right. It's quite sturdy. Now I'll focus my uh, my attention on my little salad. I have here the, the forget and uh, I'll cut them in half to be more, more easy for, for plating. everything around and that's it really light up it's time to turn the fish to see how the bloody damn thing looks another 10 minutes on this side and it should be done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. This one is not that uh, right, right. right. It's time to, uh, to break my neck. <laughs> it's time to plate it up. Um, I have the fish here, which is cooked not perfectly because the, the rocks exploded and uh, threw ashes on my fish. I have here my salad. Oh damn, that's a lot of good. See that's good, that's really good. Here is a view from uh, from closer. I think it's a it's a decent try. The only thing that uh, I'm not happy with is the fact that the the, ro the rocks exploded and uh, threw quite a quite a bit of um, soot on the fish. And uh, for that, I'll uh, when I'll try it, I'll uh, take the skin off. But uh, uh, except from that, I'm, I'm quite happy with the with the result. We'll try it in a second. And uh, I'm quite surprised with the. Uh, let's say it pickled salad or cured salad or whatever 
and uh, lemon juice. It's quite interesting. I'll uh, for the fu for the future I'll uh, I'll try it more, and uh, I'll experiment with that a little bit. I think uh, it's something to go with uh, pomegranate and fish. Quite uh, could uh, could quite work. Right, let's try the thingy. I'm very pleased with the, with the onion and pomegranate. I think it goes really well with the fish. Like I said, I'll uh, put aside the skin. The fish itself is cooked, it's good, it's fresh. Again, the idea works. You could cook like that any type of fish. With more attention you could um, go bigger and create a bigger, bigger barbecue. 